So these are the instructions for an origami lotus flower. So for the origami lotus flower, we're going to start with a blintz fold. In order to get the blintz fold, we have to find the exact center of the paper. So we're going to fold a diagonal crease. So make sure that it's nice and exact where you can see these, the two points are right on top of each other. And just make a little tack right here. You don't have to make the whole crease. Just make a little, little mark so that that little crease shows up. And then do the same thing on the other side. Go ahead and find the other diagonal fold, get it nice and lined up, and then just make a little crease right there. And you only need, the only part that's important is right where they intersect. That's the exact middle of the paper. Now we're going to take all four corners and we're going to fold those into the center of that intersection. So go all the way around and fold up to the center of the intersection. And this is a blint space when you fold it the first time. Now, we're actually going to do a second blint space as well. So we're going to take all four of these new corners and fold them into that center. And work that all the way around. This is called a double blint space. Just like that. Now, after you've done that, the next step is a triple blint space. So we're gonna do it one more time. Go for all four corners, fold those into the middle. Again, the paper is gonna start getting a little thick here, but that's okay. Go ahead and get that all the way up. And it is helpful if they don't touch, so that they don't overlap on the edges. It'll make it a little bit simpler for you. Like that. And now flip the whole thing over. And we're going to do one more blend space, and this is after we've folded the paper over, so it's going in the opposite direction. So that is the fourth blend space that we've done on that sheet of paper. And it does get a little thick here, and it does get a little tiny. So after we've done the fourth blend space, we've folded those all up, we're going to fold one corner, and this is the hardest step here. It really doesn't want to do it. Just fold one corner down about halfway. This is not going all the way into the middle. This is just coming down just about that far. And the paper is not going to be too happy about it. But this will still work. Just like that. Now when you flip it over, you'll see these four shapes. And these are going to be the petals for the lotus flower. Now the step that we're going to do, if you're not careful, you can actually rip the paper. So try and be as careful as you can with this. We're going to flip them all inside out. We're going to wrap them around the other direction. And the way this works is we're going to, it's helpful to push and provide pressure on these two points right here as you try to flip it around. So go ahead and give it a shot. We're going to push on both sides, and once the paper comes around, you get it around that corner, it'll turn around like this. Just like that. You can see you can push in a little bit and pull out some of that paper that, that's tucked in under there. And you see how that comes up and that creates that nice petal right there. Now there's a couple ways you can do that. Just by rotating and pushing it all the way through. You can also unfold a couple of these things. It's a little bit more complicated. And then sort of wrapping it around and remaneuvering it back like that. Whatever works for you to try and be as careful as you can so that you don't rip the paper. So we're going to do that eight times all the way around the model. Just like this. Pick it up, push it through. Wrap it around. The 
sometimes it's too hard to try and unfold some of the paper, so you sort of have to get this all to flip inside out as carefully as you can. Okay, so those are the four to start off with. And then for the next set of four, what can be helpful is to fold it in half a little bit so that you, you lessen the amount of stress around the outside. And when you do that, it's easier to pull it around the top like that. So I'm sort of pinching right here in order to lessen the stress for getting this to wrap around and turn inside out. So the second set of four are a little bit easier than the first set of four. Once again, wrap that around. And then the last step, go ahead and open this up on the bottom and that'll give you a little bit of some leaves on the bottom. And you flip it over. And these are all the petals, so you can curl them as much as you want in any direction. But this is the origami lotus flower. In order to get a colored version of the lotus flower, just start with the paper the opposite direction and then do all the same folds. This makes a white one, as I showed you on the back side. Thank you.